Here I am on the shores of Lake Erie. At my sore spot looking for some good Onondaga. Even though it's late December, the weather's pretty nice. There's definitely some chert laying around. Let's see if we can find some big chunks. Do something good with it. Definitely not the first one here. I'm trying to spall out this big boulder here. It's pretty freeze cracked. But there's definitely lots of rock littered up and down this coastline. I'm not wearing my rubber boots, so I can't wait out there and get to the uh, the untouched stuff. But we'll definitely be back. I know the good place to go now. Well this is what I ended up with. Not bad for my first trip to this source. I didn't end up filming any of the actual material collection because I only had about an hour and a half of good sunlight left. So I just focused on finding some bigger pieces, like in the middle there, testing it out, taking flakes off, getting rid of damaged areas, ending up with some smaller but decently intact flakes on the right side. I found a couple nicer hammer stones, some smaller ones made out of sandstone, limestone, nice big spalling hammer here, limestone. I'll probably use this to spall down some of these chunks. This one looks pretty nice. Pretty intact. A lot of this material has lots of freeze cracks and faults in it. That one's not bad. You can see it forms in these kind of beds or planes within the limestone. It doesn't really get much thicker than 10 centimeters, usually less. A lot of it's really kind of garbage. Too many freeze cracks seen too many winters. This one will just fall apart into small pieces on me. I collected these chunks right at the end as I was running out of time, so I didn't really test any of them out. I'll do that on camera with you guys soon. These are some of the flakes I was able to get. Pretty good looking material for the most part. Some inclusions, quartz pockets in some of them. This will be pretty tricky stuff to work. But we'll see how it goes. Eventually my plan with this material is to create a point typology for Southern Ontario. A display case with all the representative points made in this area. I'm in the Hamilton area, by the way. Obviously, I won't be able to do all of that with the material I have here, but I'll definitely be making some more trips to the source in the spring once the weather's nice. Try and find some really big pieces so I can do that nice earlier stuff. Paleo points in Southern Ontario, things like uh, the crow field, the barns, two fluted varieties, I'd call them Clovis, but they're definitely Paleo. Need some bigger intact pieces for that, I probably won't be able to do it with what I have here, but I'll definitely try. 
I should be able to make some of the archaic and woodland points from what I have here. Just need to decide what I want to do first. I think what I'll do is I'll start with a good piece here, spall it down. I'll spall all this stuff in the middle first before I start bifacing anything and thinning things down. See how many big pieces I end up with after I've either flaked this out or destroyed it. We'll see how it goes.